Canada Immigration, and COVID-19 Updates. In this video, we will be talking about the official updates provided by the Canada's Immigration Minister regarding COVID-19 and future immigration plans. Marco Mendocino, Immigration Minister presented new insights in a recent TV interview. Topics he discussed included Immigration Levels Plan 2021-2023 Canadian Citizenship Municipal Nominee Programme Canada's Immigration Levels Plan 2021-2023 Marco Mendocino mentioned that, the Canadian government had an option to choose after the outbreak of the COVID-19. It could stop, or decrease immigration. In its place, Canada has chosen to greet immigrants, during and after the COVID-19 to back its prosperity. Per se, Canada is planning to welcome over 400,000 immigrants, over the upcoming years which are the record targets in Canada's history. Marco Mendocino mentioned, this is essential as immigrants are important to job formation in Canada, and also aid satisfy vital labour market requirements, including essential services. When inquired if he thought the new immigration targets are practical given COVID-19 travel limitations and interruptions, the minister specified he thought they were realistic as immigration refugees and Citizenship Canada has been revolutionizing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Furthermore, the pandemic offers a chance for Canada to draw into its domestic population of temporary foreign workers and international students and ease their switch to permanent residence. Canadian Citizenship Talking about a new pilot program that is allowing eligible permanent residents to submit their Canadian citizenship application online, Marco Mendocino stated that the process is going fine and Canada is the only country to his awareness offering online citizenship ceremonies. Marco Mendocino's idea for the immigration system is for all routes to be virtual and contactless even after the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the main concerns, mentioned in Mendocino's December 2019 mandate letter, is to waive Canadian citizenship fees. When inquired about the status of that promise, Mendocino accepted he had anticipated to make progress on this front by now. While he did not mention this, the interruption in gratifying this pledge is very likely a function of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mendocino mentioned that, he is excited about decreasing obstacles for newcomers, and will have more to say on this matter in the future. Municipal Nominee Program Another one of the December 2019 mandate significances is to begin a municipal nominee program to further help inspire immigrants to settle in Canada's smaller cities. Directing to proposals for example, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot and Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot, Marco Mendocino said, he thinks the Municipal Nominee Program will be another federal program that will permit newcomers to continue fulfilling lives in smaller regions of Canada. IRCC is in the course of conferring with provincial, municipal, business, and other participants on the design of the Municipal Nominee Program. One of the important takeaways of Marco Mendocino's interview is his confidence that Canada's present immigration targets are practical. This intensely proposes, IRCC has a strategy in position to achieve the targets, which will possibly be, via a mixture of tapping into the present pool of immigration candidates with Canadian experience, continuing to choose immigrants from abroad, and processing their applications, so they can come to Canada after the COVID-19 pandemic, along with slowly decreasing travel restrictions, so that those with authorizations will ultimately be able to relocate to Canada. This is the end of today's video. Please help us spread the message by sharing our videos on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. Thanks for watching today's update.